Hello, my amazing artists. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about murals and about artworks in Cincinnati. So, Artworks is a um, a nonprofit organization that creates uh, art in public spaces. And one of the things they do is murals. And murals are drawings um, or paintings or even mosaics on walls. And so Artworks started around 2007 when Mayor Mark Mallory uh, visited Philadelphia and saw the amazing, amazing murals around the city and how vibrant that made the city. And when he did that, he decided to bring that back to Cincinnati. That's when Artworks was created. And Artworks since 2007 has done many amazing murals around the city. If you uh, just Google Artworks, since Artworks, uh, the first one here is Artworks Cincinnati. It'll take you to their website. If you'd like to view some of their murals, you can click on public art right up there. And when you click on that, it'll take you to their page that on the left side has murals, sculptures, and uh, also all the different kinds of art that they create. If you click on murals, um, at the bottom of this page, it will have view our murals. And there you can click, you can see, go through all the murals in the city. Um, for example, here is one in South Avondale right here. Um, and then over here is one that's the Wall of Education, Cincinnati Public Schools. It's right outside of the central office on Martin Luther King. And if I click read more, I can see it bigger like that. Um, so, and you can do that with most of the murals in the city. Now, the, the Avondale mural that's on here is one that was done a while ago by artist Cedric Cox, who actually grew up in Avondale. And this one um, was torn down, but they, they wanted him to create some more murals. So he created uh, several more murals from that. Now, if you, uh, if you go to YouTube, you can learn a little bit more about artworks by searching artworks. Cincinnati, and uh, about the third or fourth video here, Artworks Transforming Cincinnati. So this video has a lot of the great Artworks murals that are in Cincinnati, and it talks a little bit about Artworks. This is artist uh, Cedric Michael Cox, who um, created the Avondale murals. And we'll, I'll go ahead and click on this one, and we can see uh, in the background right here is the mural that's on Redding and Forest. Um, he also has one, uh, he did three this time. This is the old one that we just showed you. Hold on, right, right, almost there, almost there, right there. And then um, this is one of the newer murals. Uh, this is the second one, and the third one is right behind him here, the Phoenix. Uh, so right now, what we are doing is in, in our class is we are uh, planning our own mural. And the mural is actually going to be, if I can pull it up here very quick, it's going to be in our community garden in the uh, roundhouse or the hoop houses on the end. And these actually have doors on them right now, but they're going to be about this shape. Uh, so what we did our first week was we went and we came up with a plan. We talked about the Rockdale Garden, who our partners were, were that helped us create that garden, the Cincinnati Zoo, Children's Hospital, PNG, and the Cincinnati Reds, and who the garden benefits. It benefits the Rockdale School and the Avondale community. Then we talked about all the different things that we could draw or themes we could have or words we could put in our mural um, so we talked about the things that have to do with children's like their logo their colors medicine doctor and nurses kids a red cross symbolizing health care a medical kit band-aid er did the same with cincinnati zoo with the reds um, png and then also with rockdale and the avondale community after we did that we started creating a visual library drawing pictures of these things we wrote so here's my example of a visual library, and I put this up for the students to see. And if there's anything on this that you'd like to draw, you could pause the video and try to draw it. Um, so once we created our visual library, we, 
we got set to making our mural. So what we are doing this week, what we've done so far is we've gone out to the garden and drawn some of the different plants out there. And then he, right here is uh, what we're doing next. And this is creating some sketches. And now a sketch isn't a finished drawing. It, it's just a rough drawing of um, what you might do. It's, it's kind of taking your ideas. So taken from this picture here, these pictures, and getting ideas of what my garden is going to be about. I got to think about the theme of the garden. So when I look, this garden right here, th this mural is about Rockdale. This mural is, is, is about the community, Avondale, and it says family. I may also want to put the word community in there. It has families and houses. And it's just a rough drawing. I don't have to draw anything super detailed in here. It's just very rough. This one is nature, and I would have a bunch of a bunch of leaves, a bunch of the different plants in the garden. And this one's just Rockdale Garden, and it's mostly about the beauty of the garden and the pollinators that come to the garden. Um, so uh, it, it could be different things than that. It could be um, specifically Rockdale, or it could be uh, just learning in general. It could be uh, our 5210, five fruits and vegetables every day, two, less than two hours of screen time. Uh, one hour of playtime and zero sugary drinks. That could be on one. It could have our rock pride inside thing on it. It could be about the garden and maybe on this garden one, I have um, the, the logos of the different partners. Okay, we could do one just about one of the partners. You could do one about the zoo, one about uh, PNG, one about the um, Cincinnati Children's and one about the Reds. Okay, so it's kind of up to the individual. And to get this paper like this, all we did was fold it in half twice like this to create the fold lines. And then we just did a kind of trace the edges and made a rounded top on each square. Because that's kind of the shape of uh, the hoop houses that we're doing. Our next step is going to be to choose one of these. So if I choose this Rockdale one, then to draw it large on the paper, to add details, and to add color. Once the all, once all of the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade have created their designs, we will have a panel of teachers at Rockdale look over them, pick the top four designs, and those will be chosen to be our murals. And at that point, we will get to create our murals out on our hoop houses outside and the murals will stay up for as long as the garden is around or uh, from, for years to come. All right, so I kind of went over the steps of what we were doing. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at my CPS email. Um, but till next time, I will see you later. Have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody.